So what we're going to do here now is really talk about the Ignition as a platform, what it can do, how we can extend onto that, um, and how we can scale that up on a larger system. Because Ignition can be anywhere from a local HMI, it can run an entire plant, it could be a full enterprise-wide solution. And it's really because of the fact that it's a modular platform, you know, that, that allows you to do this. So first, I think it's important to peel back the onion to look at what does the platform itself do? If you, if you install it and you have no modules in there, again, Ignition's a modular system, uh, which we'll cover the modules in a moment. But if you have no modules at all, what does the platform allow you to do? And so that is what this diagram here is meant to illustrate. Uh, the platform has, you know, it, it is the, the web servers built into the platform and all the configuration environments. The, the connectivity to databases or OPC servers is fundamental in that platform. Having the authentication systems, logging and auditing, having the designer be an integral part of the platform that's integrated, that comes with it, that is, you know, as you add new things, it just more stuff allows you to be configured in that designer. Having uh, redundancy be a, a, a part of the system you know, ta the tag database, alarming core functionality, store and forward uh, configuration, scripting, and most importantly, the module API so that we can develop and add features to that platform. The, so the platform provides all of this. If you, actually, if you have no modules whatsoever, it actually can do quite a lot by itself, but it's really the modules that provide the meat into what you're trying to do. Now you can think of Ignition Platform much like your phone is a platform to add applications to your phone, to add, add new functionality, the, the ignition the same way in terms of modules. Uh, but your, your phone has you know, pieces and building blocks that it provides that allows it to be extensible. It can do things on its own, but, but there's also that ability to, to get you into new realms because of those fundamental building blocks. And that's really what ignition is uh, as a platform. It's how it's architected from the beginning. So if you look at the software stack, this is the module software stack, it really illustrates the sort of the hierarchy of how Ignition is architected, from the operating system being cross-platform to that core platform layer with all that core functionality in there. And again, there, from there, you can plug in modules that add that functionality. And we design Ignition to be modular for two main reasons. One is customers want to pick and choose the modules of the, of the functions they want. They're designed to, to be independent from one another, so you can use it on their own. They're also, of course, designed to work with each other. So if you want a bigger system or if you want to add on to your system over time, you can continue to add new modules or, or, or add new features to the system. And then the most important thing is we can't predict the future. We don't know what new technologies are going to come out. We need to have a platform that's ready, that's set to scale horizontally as that new technology comes out. A perfect example of that was MQTT. You know, I think four or five years ago is when we first got introduced to, to Searslink, our partner, for the MQTT modules. They had the, the idea, the technology, and over a weekend using the SDK, they built modules and, and the rest is history. We were able to add that functionality very easily to the platform. And that goes with, with any idea, whether that's a partner or whether that's just anybody who wants to build a module out there has that ability to do so. At the end of the day, we're taking these modules and we're going to be building the application that we're dealing with. Let's take a look at Ignition and in terms of those modules, kind of what, what sort of examples are things that we can add uh, to Ignition? Well, first and foremost, maybe you want to add a driver to a PLC so that we can uh, you know, connect to devices and bring the data into Ignition. And we do that through OPC UA. We built an OPC UA server in Ignition so that other applications can connect to us as a, as a client. Um, and Ignition can just handle that. We have a lot of people who, who use it as an OPC server, and it could just be that function. But if you want to go further from there, you can start adding more modules, adding more functionality. As an example, we have a SQL bridge module that provides transaction groups. Uh, it's a kind of a Swiss army knife where we can move data between PLCs and databases or any source really to do lots of different kinds of things like you know, cont contextual event logging uh, or even just basic history as well as recipe control or synchronizing values, whatever it might be. You can add the historian in to have a process historian that logs to any SQL database using the data that's coming in to the system. And then maybe we want to visualize that. Uh, we have a desktop visualization that we can uh, bring into the mix. And you'll also note that with these modules, modules can then have, you know, things that are added to it. Um, so, you know, the web browser is an example that we can add to Vision, and the drivers are what we can add to our OPC server. Um, but then, there, of course, there's perspective to bring the visualization to the browser, to pure web, native HTML5 and CSS, uh, with native apps for iOS and Android, so we can see that data that we're bringing into the system. 
And these are some examples of modules that are in that core layer that we're providing. And there are many other modules that you can start playing around with. And as you add these things in, they really start building up the kind of functionality that you can work with. These, uh, these modules can be used anywhere. You can deploy Ignition uh, wherever you'd like, and, and you can use one uh, or two or some subset of these modules. Or you can have one server that does everything uh, and allows you to bring all that functionality into one place. And with that, the, the applications that we can build are really limitless. And uh, you know, we say that it's sort of the sky's the limit with what you can build because it's really true. It's as a platform, any kind of application can be built. And that HMI SCADA is very predominant or MES, but IIT dashboards, applications, reporting solutions, mo mobile solutions, edge computing solutions, being a data aggregator, collecting information, injecting it into different places or into the cloud, third-party integrations, database front-end applications, uh, and much more is, is possible there. And Hugh, you talked about a couple of applications a minute ago. What are the types of things that you have built at Chobani? Sure. When we when we first started the uh, back in 2012, my initial concept was to put a dashboard in. We call it our Cho Dash or our Chobani dashboard system, which we have actually expanded. I don't know, 100 times over, which literally ties in the quality department, have their own screens and data from the plant floor, as well as, well as we pull it from our SQL databases and our process historian. We built a financial dashboard for our finance in order taking real-time data from the plant floor that ties right up into them. We built a project management, CapEx project management system in order to manage all our projects, which integrates seamlessly to our financial department. Uh, management of change is another thing where people on the phone, uh, it's a difficult thing to try and manage and maintain, um, whether it's a short-term change or a long-term change. So we build a management management of change tool uh, that people seamlessly have on their cell phones, mobile devices, laptops, and we sort of manage that across different departments on different levels. And we built a CIP scheduler to manage all the CIPs across the plant. And that's We've got large 65-inch screens in all the control rooms. And we just literally uh, expanded that into the plant in Australia, in Melbourne, Australia, and similarly for a production scheduler. So we're, we're tying all these different functionalities together. We built a wastewater, wastewater plant uh, management slash uh, utilities management tool for the facility in Twin Falls, and we're expanding that across the other sites. And today we're currently working on a electronic paper system. So I know there's many different software applications out there that can do all these different things, but we chose to use our ignition OT operating system to build them all together ourselves. And, you know, if we find that we want to go somewhere else down the road and you can't do it, then we'll, we'll look at it then. But uh, right now, ignition is limitless to what we can actually do. Yeah, thank you. And that really speaks to the expandability of ignition uh, and of a platform in general, where we can add more connections, add more projects, uh, add more to an already existing system you know, and, and be able to bring more value and, and to be able to get data to more people very easily. Uh, and so that having the licensing model for Ignition be unlimited is really allows us to do that. We can, can leverage the system that's, you know, what we've, the license we've already put in place uh, as we look to, uh, to future applications.